so today we have another node today we are going to be talking about the id node in mash and what are its uses so let's quickly get into it so i'm going to start off with the default primitive let's take a cube to start off with and i'm going to go to mash and let's click on mash and we have the distribution here and let's maybe take a radial let's take a radial this time and i'm just gonna lower this down and there you go all right so we have that uh, something that looks like this and a very simple and basic scene in here i'm just gonna change the color of this lamp to a bit darker all right so uh, we what the today node that we have is the id node and uh, you'll see right here and uh, let me just uh, talk about what id is so basically when you have a lot of different objects in your scene and you are trying to create instances of it so you have to give them a unique id a win id for individual objects so what id does is it gives a unique id to every object that you have in your scene so instance have the ability to differentiate between each item so in this case as you can see we have a simple cube and we only have one item and we only have one object which is this object right here so for instancing this it's pretty simple but let's say if i delete everything and if i go and take maybe something like uh, we have seven objects i'm going to select all of them and i'm going to go in here and i'm going to click on mash you'll notice that we only get torus in here even if i create a lot of different clones of it transform it we still have this it doesn't matter what kind of uh, distribution type i take i'm going to just go back again right and uh, i'm going to select my cube and all the other item as well you'll notice that we still get one individual object only and the reason we are getting this cube is the first thing that you select uh, in your viewport the first thing that you select will be uh, getting cloned or you can say will be created uh, the instance so in in this case if i select a lot of objects you'll notice that mash only creates one clone so we have to tell mash uh, that we have a lot of other objects in this scene as well that we have different type of looking shapes so that that's why we have to agree you can say uh, give them a unique type of id so for that what we are going to do is i'm going to keep my clone to somewhere like 10 all right and let's keep it to 7 first and i'm going to go back to mash and here we have the id i'm going to click on the add id node and you'll notice that instantly id picks up the amount of objects you have in your scene automatically you don't have to type in manually it's gonna pick up automatically so that's a good thing now here we have seven uh, instances of our seven objects but if i increase this number by any chance you'll notice that the instances gets repeated so you don't have to worry about that uh, is, is it going to be a sim symmetrical pattern or what kind of pattern it's going to be although it is a symmetrical pattern but uh, here's a nice thing that in the id type we have a lot of different options like for example you can have a fix let's say you change your mind you want to keep a fix um, object so you can keep it to that you can cycle them all right you can change the random seed in here to get that different look and the best thing is the random you can change the random uh, seeds to get different kind of look you can increase the amount of id count you have you want to keep it to three you want to keep it to two you want to differentiate between only four even though you have uh, replicated seven of them so you have multiple options where you can change this anytime that you want so i think that is one of the great thing that id node gives to the ability to have and differentiate between uh, so many objects in your scene so yeah so again if you uh, keep it to let's say a radial all right i'm gonna just do something like this i'm just gonna reduce the radius in here and uh, we have to fix the rotation you can click on calculate rotation to fix that but if it still doesn't you can take another offset node in here and you can just flip the rotation and from here again you can start playing around with this you can uh, replicate this how you want and so on so the good thing that you can do with this i'm going to give you an idea where you can use this in your scene let's say if you have a text right and let me just reduce the size to maybe six and we can use letter a i'm going to center this out and uh, maybe just uh, change the different font something like this 
and uh, I'm gonna go to my geometry and let's reduce the division to one right and extrusion to pretty low I think we have to change the font a bit um, more than right, and, all right let's keep it to this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna, just gonna duplicate this all right and select this again and let's type in s and again I'm gonna duplicate this bring in here and maybe let's type it Z and let's again control D and lastly what I'm gonna do is type in R and control D I think I'm gonna get rid of Z let's bring it in here and let's maybe take an N. Alright, so we have multiple letters here. And what we want to do is we are creating some kind of let's say typography looking art. I'm gonna just go in here, I'm gonna get, click on mash, and we have just a single letter. And the first thing I'm gonna do is first of all let's give them ID. Alright, so we have the ID node here, which is pretty much separating this, and in the distributor, I'm gonna just type in grid. Let's uh, increase the grid if you want, the size and so on. And there you go, I'm just gonna change the display mode. And in the mash again, what I'm gonna do is let's go back to mash. Uh, I know we have not talked about the random node in here, I'm just gonna use this node to demonstrate something just to give it a little bit extra. We are going to be covering this node very soon. So now you have uh, this kind of looking scene where you can create uh, exploding typography kind of look in your abstract art so yeah it looks pretty good so this is how you can use the ID node to differentiate your lot of objects you have a lot of trees in your scene and uh, you wanna instance them using the mesh or let's say if you have a simple sphere like this and you wanna create a lot of pebbles or stones what you can do is simply triangulate this and also reduce this and I'm gonna just reduce a lot of percentage in here and there you go so you have this big rock all right I'm gonna control these this I'm gonna change the size in here and let's maybe reduce the size I'm gonna just rotate this all right so we have something like this I'm gonna just delete the history and everything select all of them and I'm just gonna quickly click on mash all right so we have a lot of distribution I'm going to click on the ID node so we have all four of them. Now I'm just going to start with a simple plane and let's assume that this plane is uh, some kind of terrain. Alright, I'm just going to give some kind of division. Let's maybe take a 50, turn off the grid. Let me just add a new material in here. Alright, and I'm just going to use the sculpting tool to uh, give some depth to it. Right, there you go and in the mesh let's go back to our mesh and in the distribute let's select the mesh and I'm just gonna drop in middle mouse click and drop in our mesh and now you'll notice that we have something like this that means there is some kind of problem in our connection so what I'm gonna do is go back so let's uh, select our mesh plane and you'll notice that we have this mesh plane and I think uh, there is some kind of problem in our connection so I'm just gonna quickly try increasing yeah I think it's replicating on the wrong direction so let's quickly break this connection I'm gonna just gonna reset this again and go on mash again and drop this again right. I think it's uh, still having trouble connecting I'm just gonna take a new plane and let's just transform this to mesh and drop it all right so I'm just gonna check my distribute if uh, it's still creating some kind of uh, yeah I think the distribute is completely fine I think there is some kind of different problem with our distribution so what I'm gonna do is quickly uh, take a simple offset all right and I'm just gonna push it down there you go so here I know we have not talked about the offset so we are going to be covering that I'm going to add a link to it and add a randomized node and let's just give it some kind of rotation let's turn this off completely 
and there you go right so now we have this uh, looking stone in here in our scene and we can just replicate it of other times and uh, yeah you can create multi instances of it so there you go uh, it works on a terrain it works on sculpted mesh as well but for some reason it's not working right now uh, I have to figure it uh, figure out why is that uh, so I'm just gonna later experiment more on it and then let you know but uh, yeah it does as you can see it is still updating and instantly it picks on your terrain and so on so it is quite good but for some reason it's not uh, perfectly aligned but yeah it will get the job done so yeah this is a very interesting thing about your ID so you can create multiple instances of your stone or uh, plants or rocks and so on and just clone it on top of your plane and you'll be good to go so that's it it was a really useful note um, I hope you'll enjoy this note in your scene and so on so that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video